The program delivery format for the NDT program is online. They do their coursework online, they find their reading assignments there, they take tests online, they participate in discussion forums with their classmates, but then they also go to clinical outside the home. The ideal candidate for this program is someone who has been out in the working field usually for a little bit, or students who have had some success at the college level. Students starting the NDT program will complete it traditionally in about 12 months. Students are not encouraged to work full-time during this program. It's very condensed, it's very advanced, a um, lot of information coming at the students. You want to make sure that your life schedule can accommodate that. A typical work schedule for an NDT technologist traditionally has been Monday through Friday, pretty much something like 7 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. So you're home in the evenings with your children, if you have children, you're home on weekends. As the need for qualified technologists increases, there are now some additional shifts that are available to people who want to work them. So it's a field that you can kind of flex around a little bit as your life changes and you can work days or you can work nights or you can work weekends. A day in the life of a neurodiagnostic technologist is they are usually working in a hospital lab or a doctor's office. Um, they see outpatients and inpatients, so they'll interview the patient and take a medical history. They'll apply electrodes to the patient's head. They'll ex um, explain what they're doing each step of the way, um, and they'll record the brain waves on a computer. Sometimes the patient is uh, sent to the ICU or the emergency department or the operating room to perform that type of testing. The growth potential for the neurodiagnostic technology industry is very good. There is a shortage of EEG techs around the country. Most of our students are hired before they're even finished with the program, and they're hired in hospitals, doctor's offices. Some of them will go on and subspecialize in other modalities that we do, such as evoke potentials, intraoperative monitoring, uh, sleep studies. There are a variety of technological options in this field today.